the length of up as tall as you can. Think of that piece of string lifting you up to the ceiling. Show the blades in their pockets. Nice pelvic tilts to find neutral and then engage your core. You start off with your head, take it to the side, lower it down, chin down towards your chest, and up the other side. Lower. Side, lower. Side, lower. Side, lower. To the side, head to the front, chin down, back up, down, back up, down, back up, down, back up. Shoulders up to your ears, ears. Lift. Release. Lift. Release. Lift. Release. Bring your voice. And back. Voice. And back. Voice. And back. Voice. And back. Side bend, reach. Back up. Other side. And up. 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 Take your arms up and up the shoulders, sit facing forward and twist to the side. To the middle. Other side. To the middle. Side. In the middle. Side. To the middle. Side. To the middle. Side. So then you'll take the arms down, lift up your right knee, lift it up to the side. Back in and lower. Change lift, side, in and lower. Change lift, side, in, lower. Change lift. Side, in, and lower. Hands on your thighs now, knees soft, shoulders forward, stop rolling down, vertebrae by vertebrae. I want you to feel each vertebrae moving on your way down, take it down as far as you're comfortable. Hold it. Now slowly come back up. Take your arms out in front. Now we're going to stretch up as you can onto your toe. Come back down, arms on your thighs, and roll. Pull it. Slowly up. Arms out. Stretch up. Come back down, arms on your thighs, and roll. Hold it. Turn me up. Hold out. Step jump. Come back down. Arms by your side. Right. So no one here did that. We didn't do that today, did you? Uh, joy online. Joy will remember Saturday. So we're actually using, for the first time in that Pilates class, my little machine. So this gives you the amount of seconds we're going to be working for, OK? 
Okay, so we're doing when we go down into the um, prone, we're going to go straight into a plank. We're holding the plank for 30 seconds. We get a six second rest, and then we do 30 seconds press ups. And we repeat that a few times. Okay. So not standing up. Once we get down, we're doing the whole thing. Okay. Right. So those who do class, they know, they kind of know what it's about. So luckily, Joy's not here. She was telling you then what it was like, <laughs> which was not good. <laughs> Obviously, you you do the press ups properly, but you work at your own speed. Okay, because thirty seconds is quite a long time when you're doing press ups. <coughs> so get your call. We'll go down to our phones. <laughs> Touch, cool. I just had this idea of doing this. I don't know why. <laughs> she can cope. Right, so we're going to go straight down. So we're taking right elbow down, left elbow down, and now I'm pressing. Right, I'm going to put that in there. Now we will hear the beep, and they will hear the beep online as well. So you get six seconds rest to get into your press-up position. Right, do you hear that? Get ready for your press-ups. It will beep again when, there we go. See, that's as hard as close as it is. Now make sure you keep your elbows tucked in. Try and do nose to floor. God, I can still feel this from Saturday. Oh. Hold on. Right, get ready in your prone. So as it beeps, we're coming up. I mean, sorry, plank. Wrong word. Good. Get ready for your press ups. Off we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, you blank. Oh. That six seconds is not very long. Good, relax. No, I don't need to relax, really. Get ready for the press ups. That's what I really mean. Oh, quick. Listen, it's, it's not me, is it? It's the machine. It's not me. <laughs> you can't blame. You can't blame the machine. This is Saturday morning timings. <laughs> Get ready for your prone for a plank. It's a good class. 
<laughs> yeah, she wouldn't be impressed. Celia would have been even worse. Good. Get ready. Come on, it hasn't stopped yet, has it? Push up. <gasps> Quick, down. Oh, come on. You have to do what it says. Oh, come on, this is good. Yep, plank. No, I think she's doing the hoover. Oh, listen to that. Oh, no. Can we go now? That tells me it's finished. I was getting ready for another one then. Okay, just sink back, just stretch out your arms. So, was that good or what? Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> there is, no, there are no more front planks to do. That's all I'll say. You only did four thirty seconds. Yeah. I thought that in class on Saturday, as I was dying. Right, I don't know what to see what it says. Arms to side. Right, on your front. I hope that wasn't someone telling me that was really bad. Won't watch. Floppy feet, head resting down. Oh. Hopefully you can feel that in your upper body, arms especially. Right, now engage your core, lift it away from the mat. So we're lifting head and shoulders and arms as well if you want to. Okay, ready? On the out breath, lift. And lower. Lift. 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 Lower. Good. Right, we're going on to your side now. We're going on to your side. Right, ball between ankles. <coughs> I've just got to turn off this. And let's We've got a few nice ones now, so you can get okay. what's just happened. Okay. All Make them out as long as you can. Top hit on top of bottom hit. Neutral spine. Engage your core. Get both legs off the floor for your starting position. Okay, ready. Both legs. Sit. How you can. And lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. 
And then lengthen out again as long as you can. Top hip on top of bottom hip, neutral spine, core engaged. Take both legs off the floor, both legs lift and lower. 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 Lift. And lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, relax your legs down. And from here, you're going onto your back. And the ball can be placed underneath your right foot at the same time. <clears throat> okay, arms by your sides. Push your back into the mat. Arch it up. Find neutral. Engage your core. Okay, no squashing that ball. Take your left leg up into the tabletop. Now roll the ball out. And in. Out. And in. Out. In. Out. In. Lower your left to the floor. Change your ball over. Still no squashing. Right leg up into the tabletop. Okay, roll the ball out. And in. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Lower your right. To the floor. Okay, now we have to see both feet on the board. Now, obviously, if you struggle with this, just do single leg instead. No squashing. So, really lightly place your feet on the ball and roll the legs out as far as you're able to. And in. 
out. In. Out. In. Out. In. And then bring the knees straight into your chest. Okay, you can now sit up. I'm feeling quite warm. So it's press on. Yes. Yeah, it does warm you up, but I wasn't told in the first place. That's the problem. But never mind. Right, so we're doing back tilt and lower. In the lower position, we're going to take the arms up, down, out in and then come back up each time so you want your feet knees hips in line arms out in front melt the shoulders chin off chest engage your core back tilt lower so both arms up and down up and in back up nice and tall back Tilt, lower, both up and down, out and in, back up, back, tilt, lower, both up and down, out and in, back up, nice and tall. Back, tilt, lower, lift, lower, out, in, up, nice and tall. Two more to go. Back, tilt, lower, don't hurt yourself, up, and uh, out, that's not good, and in, come back up. One more. Back, tilt, lower, up, <laughs> and down, out, and in, come back up, and rest. You don't want your hip coming out in the grass. That's not a good option. Oh, I don't believe it. Just change it. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't change it. I spent a long time doing these this morning. Yeah, I do. I'm just going to put my towel on the side. Yes. Right. I'll get my stopwatch. <laughs> yeah, I promise you no front planks. You can go on your knees. We're doing a side plank with, it's not on its own. With the knee left. Knee goes in, back. Yeah. So even if you're on with the knee bent, you can still do it. Okay. And it's only 30 seconds. Right. Elbow on the shoulder. Place nice and high. Neutral spine. Core engage. Ready? Set. Now, if you can manage it, me in. And you can just do this in your own time. But make sure that you keep your waist nice and high. You do these in abs class on the Thursday morning if you're interested, sometimes. Mm, silence. <laughs> Okay, let's <laughs> start. 
<laughs> right, go on your other side. That side can have a rest. <laughs> right, same positioning, elbow underneath shoulder, waist nice and high, neutral spine, or engaged. First, lift. Okay, ready. Knee if you can manage, into chest. Keep your waist up. Doesn't help with your foot cramp, so. Okay, relax. I just want to uncramp my foot quickly before we do the other side again. Probably is when it goes, it's just not nice. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, get a rest in between. I'm looking back, Marty. <coughs> okay, are we ready? Look and spine, core engage, a lift, lean. Keep your waist up. Soon the Christmas party, you need to get in shape. <laughs> but all that extra eating and drinking. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's all on the other side. And do the other one. Elbow underneath shoulder. Lift the waist. Neutral spine. Equal. <coughs> Engage your core. Lift. Up we go. Knee in. Okay, relax. Well done. I'm trying to see something nice coming up. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this isn't bad. We did this on Wednesday, but I, I quite like you to all do this as well. It's not hard. Jane, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, you can lie down with your knees bent. She'll touch. She'll know. You'll know why when we start. Okay, we're not using your legs, so just bend your knees and don't worry about them. Push your back into the mat. Arch up. Find neutral. Engage your core. Okay, we're going to take the arms with the hands on the floor, out to the side. Okay, now that's your starting position. And from here, we are going to slide the arms until they're above your head. Okay, so slide them. Try and keep them attached to the floor. I appreciate that it's not easy. And actually breathing out as you do it will help. Right, now we're going back to the side. Then relax. Right, take them back up again. To the side. And up. Good. 
to the side. Relax. Up. To the side. Relax. Got one more to do. Pick them up. Back to the side. And then slowly back in and relax. Right from here, you can sit. Is there anybody that actually found that really easy? Oh, yeah. Because I mean, my left one is quite nice. The right one is really nice. <laughs> but it just kind of gives you an idea of because the shoulder joint is the most complicated joint in the body. It's way more complicated than the knee and the hip. And it only takes one little tiny thing for it to not work how it's supposed to work. And, and it's really good, even though it's painful, it's actually really good to do that because you very rarely, because you've got the floor as support, you can actually give it a lot more range of movement than you <coughs> would do just by moving your arms around. So even though it hurts, it's, it's the only way that you can do it. Okay, arms, hands and knees, hands and knees. So you want your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath hips, arch up high to the ceiling. Relax down to the floor. Now find neutral and engage your core. Okay, now this is very simple. We're going to be lifting and curling. So we're going to all do all one leg. So you're going to slide out your right leg and keep your toes on the floor. So that's your starting position each time. Keep your body weight central between both your hands. So we're going to lift the leg, curl it, straighten, lower it down. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, Lower. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, cramp, curl, <laughs> straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, Lower. Lift. Curl. Straighten. Lower. Two more. Lift. Curl. Straighten. Lower. Lift. Curl. Straighten. Lower. Slide that knee back in. We will have a rest in between, so take your arms out and stretch back. Good. Right, let's get back onto your hands and knees. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, arch up to the ceiling. Relax down to the floor. Find neutral, engage your core. Okay, slide out your left one. Keep your body weight central between both your hands. Lift the leg, straighten, bend it, straighten and lower. Lift, straight, bend, straighten, lower. 
lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. Lift, curl, straighten, lower. One more, lift, curl, straighten, lower, slide the knee back. In, arms out, stretch back. Good. Right, we're doing some roll down now. With your ball. So it's up to you whether you have the ball out in front, on your chair, above your head, whatever you prefer. But each time you come forward, I want you to stretch it out. Okay? So melt the shoulders, chin off chest, engage your core, and off you go. Okay, next time you lay down, you can stay there. Good. You can go on your side again. Nothing nasty. On your side and lengthen. Right, so we're doing scissors. Make sure you're moving from your hip and not from your knee. So the legs need to stay straight all the time. So the first legs off the floor, and then to start with, your top is laying in front and your bottom is laying behind. Stop in the middle each time, change direction. Okay, in your own time, left. 
Take the control. Very easy to bend it when it goes behind. Okay, we'll put both legs together and relax the knee down. And then we'll do the other side. <laughs> so lengthen out your body. Top hip on top or bottom hip, neutral spine. Engage your core, both legs off the floor. Okay, again, keep your legs as straight as you can in your own time. Off we go. Legs back together, top onto bottom, relax down. Very nice. Oh, bridge, bridge. So do make sure that you've got your stuff ready for stretching. Just so you don't have to move when I say it's stretch time. Knees bent, feet together, toes out, heels in line with the toes. Push your back into the mat. Arch it up. Find neutral and engage your core. We're imprinting, activating the glutes and vertebrae by vertebrae. Slow. Coming up to your highest point, hold it. And now really concentrate, work on each vertebrae as you come back down. Once you get back to the mat, you can relax. Imprint, activate, and again. Roll as well, as you can. Hold it. Slowly down. And it. Imprint, activate, and get. Roll up. Hold to the top. Slowly down. And relax. 
imprint, activate, and again. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Hold it. Slowly down. Relax when you get back down and bring your knees in your chest. Right, keeping your hands exactly where they are and not kicking the legs out. We're going to roll up to sit in, okay? Off we go. <laughs> Right, it's probably better to do it from sitting to go down. So now you know what you're doing. Again, control. Slow down till you get to the mat. Now, you know what to do when you come up. Ready? Yes. Good. And lower. Uh, Back up. The moving down. Some of it is to do with the shape of your back as well. Up. Well done. We've only got one more to do. Down. Back up. Okay, seeing as we're going down, we might just as well roll down nicely. And then keep your knees in to your chest. Take one foot down to the floor if you're using a band. Place it over a foot. Straighten the leg up to the ceiling. Now keep it as straight as you can. Bring it in towards you. Drop your toes down if you would like a stronger stretch. Okay, now place that foot onto the other knee, take it nice and wide, lift the one that's on the floor, or push down with the palm of the hand on the inside of the knee, whichever gives you the better stretch. Okay, release that down, bring the other knee in, straighten the leg again, up, bring it in towards you, drop, drop your toes down if you would like a stronger stretch.
Okay, and release, put onto your other knee, take it nice and wide, lift the one that's on the floor or push down with the palm of the hand on the inside of the knee. Release that down, take your legs out straight arms above your head, get as much distance as you can between your fingers and your toes. Give your body a really good stretch. Now bring your arms in by your sides on your abdominals. You do our thoracic breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, like you're breathing in, you're pushing out your abdominals. Get as much air from the slow down in your diaphragm as you can as you breathe out, pull in your abdominals to expel as much air on each breath. When you finish the breath, you're on slowly come up to seated position. Legs out straight, toes in. If you can touch your toes, please do. Okay, release. Now you can bend your knees. Put your hands behind you. And forwards. 